Okay, so the next thing we'd like to do is to add some texture to the ground surface. Now we could import a texture map from outside, but instead we'd like to generate it procedurally using Copernicus. Uh, it's a new image context within Houdini, uh, and it can be used for uh, making texture maps. So let's take a crack at that. So the, we're going to do that starting with the um, quick surface material that we made for the ground earlier. We're going to change the color back to white uh, because we want to be able to multiply the texture map into that. And what we do is we say, let's let me set a color map for that, which by default is going to be uh, just a, a UV grid, as you can see here. But what we're going to do is we're going to replace that by clicking on this button here to create a COP node or Copernicus uh, node network. And right now that already has a default grid um, checkerboard pattern that's um, assigned to the material. To see this, if we double click into here, we can see the checkerboard pattern and it will show up here in the 3D view. But what we want to do is display it slightly differently. So we're going to go and we're going to split left and right and we're going to change right click on here and change this to a composite view and that will show us that. We're then going to go up to the stage level and we're going to pin this view. So even if we go down into the compositing network, we'll be able to see the results here while also seeing the, 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 the changes at the 2D level here. So let's just uh, click on this, make a change. So let's change that to red. Okay, that works. Now if we want to see more of these, we can go up to this level and on the uh, down on the map level here. Uh, we can change this to let's say 5 and 5. That adds more of a checker pattern. And let's go back down to here. And let's get rid of the checker. We're going to go tab, tile, pattern. Now tile pattern, when we go into here, uh, will give us um, by default just a grid. And what we can do is change the pattern type on that to windmill to get uh, a different grid pattern that looks good in there. Now we'd like to add some color. You don't really add the color using this node. What we're going to do instead is add a constant node. Uh, then we're going to add a multiply node. And we're going to put the multiply node right there. We're going to feed the constant into the foreground. And then we are going to change... Oh, that comes to grayscale. We want that to be RGB. Click on that and let's go red, but make it a little darker and maybe take some saturation, just desaturate it a little bit. So what that does is give us a, a nice sort of texture, background texture there. Uh, we can see what the texture looks like here. Okay, so let's go back up to the stage level and we're gonna go back to the ground material and we're going to go to, okay, we're going to go to the specular level here and we're gonna go color map, set or create and we're going to also add that into the texture map. We're then going to go to the bump section. We're going to change that to normal, set or create, and also put that into the compositing network. Now, what does that actually do? You can sort of see a, a checkerboard pattern going on in here. And if we double click into here, we find out that again, checkerboard patterns have been created for all of these. So we've got three null nodes that are the export options to go to the texture map. And here's what's feeding into that. Now to make things more consistent, we're going to delete this and we're going to uh, delete this and we're going to feed the tile pattern into both of these. And there you go. So now you've got some specular color differences as well as, um, as you can see, a bit of a bump in the pattern. Now right now the grout feels a little too thick. So what we want to do is we want to if you go to the tile pattern, um, we can change the divisions to four. You see that way we're getting a little closer. Uh, we're not seeing as many of them here. Uh, we're going to do the tiling uh, up at the level above. So if we go back up to the stage level, we can go to the ground material. And just like we did before, instead of five and five, we're going to go 15, 15. So because we've got more of these, um, it 
it allows the grout in between to be a little smaller and it allows the the tiles to look a little bit nicer uh, here in that view so that's that's some little adjustments we we were able to make there and of course we can go back into here and we can say well you know what um, instead of this let's go with a um, French pattern now one of the things is this actually worked pretty nicely right now but sometimes this needs to be restarted um, to handle a new texture sometimes it doesn't um, pick it up actually it didn't pick it up right away there so the re-render was necessary to get that to view let's go back up to the stage level so here we've been able to texture this ground material by adding a compositing network and feeding those materials uh, into the quick surface material right here and that was all done in a very clean and friendly way and if you want to you maybe you don't need this right now is you can click back there and just uh, let's restart the rendering again just to make it work for this and there we go